yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like stupid statistically. Um, you know, has some accuracy, can really get it done on the ground, and is gonna go play in the MAC. Like this is like perfect recipe for like CFF success. Oh yeah, Caleb Osborne. Uh, de definitely a, another fun one. And this is a guy going to the Mac. So you love to see that. Uh, kind of going to be the heir apparent to Daquan Finn, who just finished up two, uh, about two and a half seasons of really nice college football production. And man, now I'm, I can't even remember where he's going to play next year. But he, he leveled up to oh, a Baylor. Power, Baylor, that's right. So he, he leveled up to yeah. a Power 4 conference for his final season. And that that Toledo, I mean, this guy could see time next year. I would not be shocked at all. Their quarterback room is nothing. The guy who's technically the incumbent is under 50% completion his entire college career. Um, and Osborne is a late conversion to quarterback. And you can tell in his junior tape and his senior tape a pretty big difference in throwing motion and just like general consistency. So even between those years, he, he kind of did some things that you want to see in terms of growth as a passer. Uh, and he had some just uh, insane statistics as a, um, as a senior. This is just his senior year, right? So he had 1,800 yards as a senior, 25. Yes. That's on the ground. 1,800 yards on the ground, 25 rushing touchdowns. He's going to be a threat on the ground, and his arm is good. 52 velocity. He's also under 18 on signing day. We like to see that. He just checks a heck of a lot of boxes, and uh, honestly, I got even more excited. I, I A and B'd his junior year and senior year tape back to back, and you can tell the motion is much better, much cleaner, much crisper as a senior, and so if he continues on that tra trajectory, very interesting guy. Uh, in terms of just that that dual threat where if the pieces come together, you're talking about a real, you know, perfect storm. Yeah, I mean, with the schools that report their stats to max preps, um, Caleb Osborne was the leader in um, total yards uh, in the nation. So uh, passing yards plus rushing yards, just incredible. Almost Almost six thousand, almost five thousand. Yeah. yeah, that's like Lamar Jackson in, in yeah. college esque. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just like stupid statistically, um, you know, has some accuracy, can really get it done on the ground, and is gonna go play in the MAC. Like this is like perfect recipe for like CFF success. Um, I I too believe that he's seriously in contention for this job right off the bat. Um, I mean, it's hard to not see them go for somebody in the spring portal, but it's Toledo. They can't bring in somebody who's that good. Um, so um, I think Osborne is a potential game breaker for CFF in his career. Um, like mm -hmm. he, he's tall, he's just superbly athletic um, and can make a lot of throws. So I'm super excited about what this kid can be. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I look at the stats, I look at the tape, and I look at the landing spot, and I think this is a guy you're not getting in the 12th round of your supplemental. We're all going to be pursuing him a little bit early for a three-star. Yeah, especially if you get to the point where you're not as worried about NFL potential. Now, I think that throw, I don't know if this is a mix between junior and senior, but the first few throws, I'm pretty sure, were his junior tape. And you can tell he kind of flies his elbow a little bit on his motion. He looks a little loosey-goosey. And then his senior year, he's a lot tighter. And the motion looks more consistent and repeatable, which is really promising if he was able to tighten all that up in one year uh, where he could go. Yeah. I think this was his senior tape, but probably something he's still working on. You know what I mean? You're getting it right 80% of the time instead of 60% of the time. Yeah. At that point. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really fun, man. Those are absolute video game stats.